everybody, it's Kara, aka The Principal Painter, and today I've got a Diamond Art Club sneak peek for you. It is a much bigger canvas. I got used to showing those little, uh, those little diamonds, diamond paintings, and so this one is bigger, so we'll see how I do with it. We are going to the painter dining room table, and this one is a beauty. I love it. It reminds me so much of my grandmother because there's a cardinal in it. So let's head to the painter dining room table, and I'll show you what I got. See you there. painter dining room table for this beautiful painting. This just gives me just a feeling of coziness and calm and no stress. I love this. It is, as you can see from the box, from the blue striping and the blue emblem, it is a square diamond diamond painting. I have none other than Cottage in the Woods by artist Larry Jones. I have not unboxed anything from this artist before. I don't know if he's a new artist to Diamond Art Club. Um, I should have done a little bit more homework, shouldn't I have? But um, if you look at this beautiful image, it's a beautiful cottage. If you like flowers, if you like birds, butterflies, it's got it all. Um, again, the diamond shape is square. The dimensions on this canvas is a 60 centimeter by 83 centimeter. So it's larger, but not too big. So let's get in here and see what we've got. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to know what to do with myself with a regular diamond painting, <laughs> or a regular size diamond painting, shall I say. All of these diamond paintings do, from Diamond Art Club, do come in a beautiful holographic box. They're nice and sturdy to protect your canvas. Uh, on the back are all kinds of instructions, kit contents, and the like. There's also a QR code that says, scan me, and unlock 10% off. So make sure you do that. Coupon codes are everywhere. Diamond Art Club does not want you to pay full price for a canvas. When you take the contents out of the box, you are gonna get your canvas, obviously, uh, in a nice branded dust bag to protect uh, the canvas from getting gunk on it. You get a log book sticker with the title and the artist, Cottage in the Woods by Larry Jones. You get the diamond shape and the dimensions of the canvas. You can put this in a log book or do something crafty with it. You also get a toolkit. All of these toolkits come with uh, things that are similar, some differences, and I'll share the differences with you. All of your toolkits do come in an eco-friendly bag that can be recycled. You get a bag of baggies for drill storage in every toolkit, uh, either before you diamond paint or after. You get a pair of tweezers. Now, tweezers are gonna differ from kit to kit. If you have a square, uh, square diamond painting, you're gonna get the tweezers. Um, if you have rounds, they do not come in those. Um, they are the pointy stabby tweezers. Uh, please keep the sheath on and do not poke your eyeball out. Very nice branded tweezers there. You get a pen and a squishy. The pen and squishy color will differ from kit to kit. And I can tell you right now, I'm not getting that squishy on that pen. <laughs> you do put the squishy on the pen for diamond painting comfort, but in the sake of time, I do not want to um, struggle with that. In addition to your pen and squishy, you get two multi-placers. That is for areas uh, that we talk about uh, called color blocking. Color blocking is where you've got one color in a big area on this painting. We will look at the ratio of confetti, meaning there are all kinds of colors and you're switching out your colors um, more often um, to color blocking. But if there is color blocking, you can either use a four placer or a seven placer to place more than one drill down at a time should you want to do that. And these you can interchange easily. And then on the opposite end, if you're a single placer, some people um, like to single place everything on their kits and that's perfectly fine. Like I always say, there is no wrong way to diamond paint. Do what makes you happy. You also get a cover minder. When I unroll this canvas, you will see it's got a plastic sheet on the top of it to protect the sticky area on the canvas, again, from gunk getting on it. These cover minders have two magnets. Uh, you peel that plastic back on that canvas. This uh, beautiful, sh it's a beautiful little sparkly shell cover minder goes on the top. You uh, put the second magnet underneath your diamond painting. The magnets magnetize together to hold that plastic back. We will see whether this is the perforated paper or not. I'll explain what that is. You get a container of Diamond Art Club's famous heart-shaped wax. There are two pads of wax in it. This is what you dip your pen in so that the diamonds stick to the pen so you can get them on the canvas. Uh, there is plastic on the top and the bottom of these two pads of wax. 
uh, peel that plastic back or you will get no wax in your pen and keep the wax in the container to keep it from drying out. My bulldog is coming to join us in the filming. She decided she wanted to be a star tonight. Um, you also, in all your kits, get a roll of beautiful washi tape. The pattern on the washi tape will differ from kit to kit. I have beautiful flowers. This coordinates very well with this canvas. You can use your washi tape to put around the perimeter of your canvas or uh, you can section it off. You also get a boat, uh, a white boat um, with a funnel to easily uh, dump your drills back in your containers, whatever you kit up with, and the stopper is removable. You put that stopper in while you've got drills in your tray to keep the drills from flying all over the place. Hello, Bella. Have you decided you wanted to come join the fun and be a star? I'm so excited. All right, so let's get this canvas out of the dust bag and see what we've got. This image is, again, absolutely beautiful. It takes me back to my grandmother's house. She loved, she called cardinals red birds. So she loved her red birds. And um, people will say that, you know, if you see a red bird, it's a loved one that has passed on, that's come back and is telling you that they're doing okay and checking on you. And um, they're a good sign. Um, there's also a blue jay in this image, butterflies. All right, what I'm doing right now is I'm rolling this canvas back and I can tell you right now, it does have the perforated paper on it. I'm rolling this canvas back. All of these canvases are very buttery on the back. They do have a scalloped and surged edge to protect, uh, to prevent fraying on this canvas. And I can roll it back because these are all poured glue canvases, which is the material on the canvas, which adheres the drills to it. I am rolling it back in the sake of time, but they're all self-flattening. I roll them back in, zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. I'm gonna let this hang out in my lap for a second while I show you what else you get. You get a sticker sheet. Look at that beautiful image. You've got deer, butterflies, birds. I mean, if you are a beauty in nature person, this is your canvas. I also think, this is a surprise. I did not notice this. It looks to be maybe another bird wing up in the upper left-hand corner, maybe an owl wing. I'm not sure. You don't see the whole bird, but you do get a glimpse of a wing in that upper. That is such a nice touch. Oh my gosh. So you've got the beautiful cardinal. That's really a focal point in this piece. You've got the blue jay. They look to be in a raspberry bush. The blue jay's got a raspberry in his mouth. Oh my gosh. And you have these beautiful butterflies. Also, a couple of deer in the background and the beautiful cottage. Again, I just want to be there. That's absolutely gorgeous. This entire sheet is a sticker sheet. You got your title, Cottage in the Woods. Uh, artist, Larry Jones. You can put your start and end date. If you want to cut this section off and put it in a logbook rather than your logbook sticker, you can certainly do that. You got your diamond shape, the dimensions, and the skew number of the canvas. You also, here, these are all individually cut stickers that you can put on containers when you're kitting up um, so that you can tell your colors apart. The first column, you see three columns here. The first column in pink tells you how many colors you're gonna have. That is how I know we're gonna have 55 colors total in this kit. The second column are your symbols. That's what you're gonna match these drills up with to put down on your canvas. The third column are your DMC codes or your DMC numbers, and they tell us a few things. So. As we're looking at these, this the third column, you see numbers here. The numbers under, under the number 150 indicate an AB drill. We have three ABs in this kit. We've got 128, which is a pink, 132, which looks to be an orange, and 141, probably the most popular AB color that we work with in uh, Diamond Art Club kits. That's a white, and it reflects all of the colors. But if you scroll down to the very end, you will, um, if your kit does have any special drills in them, we call them specialty drills, uh, they will be at the end. We have two drills with the letter Z in front of them. Any, uh, any number with the letter Z in, uh, in front of it indicates a fairy dust drill. So we've got two fairy dust drills in this uh, kit as well. We've got a green fairy dust and it looks to be a beautiful, uh, very vibrant pink fairy dust drill. So we'll look at those when I go through the drills and I'll, I'll share with you what those are as well. You do have an information pamphlet, a thank you from Angie, the founder of Diamond Art Club, tips and tricks, kit contents, and the like. QR codes to take you to a tutorial on how to diamond paint if you're a visual learner like me, and one to take you to the VIP Facebook group once you've made your first purchase. 
You also have another coupon code, thank you, 10. Again, don't pay full price for a Diamond Art Club. They don't want you to. On the back are two QR codes, one for an Apple, one for an Android device. Um, if you download the uh, Diamond Art Club app onto your device and make a first purchase through the uh, device, whether you are a new or existing customer, you can get 20% off of your first purchase. So lots of good information in this thing, but you're ready. Are you ready to see it? Are you ready to see it? I am. <gasps> Oh my goodness. I love this even more. So much more seeing it in person. The butterflies and the birds are even big. And of course, you they look bigger because of the perspective. So the, the, uh, the cottage is far away. So it's going to look a little bit smaller. But look what you get in this image, guys. These Birds are going to be so beautiful. And the butterfly. Okay, I I love this image. I love it. I wasn't expecting this. Do you guys ever get a Diamond Art Club canvas and unroll it? And it's You know what picture you're expecting, obviously. But when you see it, it's just so much more vivid and vibrant than you expect. Oh my gosh, and the deer. It's beautiful, and you're going to get so much detail on these birds and these butterflies. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's called Cottage in the Woods, but what is stealing the show are the butterflies and the deer. And, and no doubt, the cottage adds to it, but um, I just love this. And again, if you look up here, you pan them in on this. In the upper left-hand corner, it looks to be another bird wing. It, it almost looks to be an owl wing. I'm not sure what that is, but I just think that adds just, just a bit of interest to this painting. Oh my gosh. Okay, while you guys are staring, I will give you a tour of the canvas. At the top of the canvas, do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. That is their branding. You have schematics or, co or keys on the upper left and lower right of your canvas. Um, that tell you the same information that I shared with you on the sticker sheet. Down at the bottom of your canvas, in the far left, you have a uh, thumbnail of the image. You've got the title, Cottage in the Woods. You've got the dimensions, Larry Jones. There is a copyright symbol in front of Larry Jones's name. That means Larry Jones is given permission for his art to be used and is being compensated for this beautiful piece of art, which should be important to all of us. In the center uh, of the bottom of the canvas, you have all of Diamond Art Club social media information, Facebook, Instagram. Tag them, um, and it says use the hashtag Diamond Art Club uh, to tag them so they can see your beautiful progress on all of your paintings. And in the far right corner, you've got 100% lifetime warranty. If anything goes wrong with this canvas, the drills, or the like, uh, Diamond Art Club will make it right as long as you are the original purchaser through Diamond Art Club of this piece. I love this. I am just so taken and surprised at how much I love it. It's just the detail you're going to get on those birds and those butterflies. And I love, I love the raspberries. I remember as a little girl, my friend and I, uh, we lived in Williamsburg, Virginia. We lived on a military base and we found what we thought was a raspberry bush. And we picked those raspberries and we ate them and we ate them. And I went home and my mom was like, what'd you guys do? And I was like, oh, we found raspberries and we just ate them and ate them. And my mom said, they probably weren't raspberries, Kara. They were probably boysenberries. Well, I thought she said poison berries. So I fall to the ground. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. It's terrible. And she was like, what are you talking about, Kara? She said boysenberries, and I thought she said poisonberries. That, that's, your, that's your goofy friend here, Kara. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let me share with you. Can they see the grid lines? A little bit. This is the perforated paper. Diamond Art Club is continually improving to make our diamond painting experience better and better. And one of the things that they have done is they have produced... Uh, and this is patented uh, cover paper. They are, there are perforated squares all across this canvas. Now, 
if you don't want to tear the perforated square. So what I'm talking about is when I pull this canvas back, I, I can do what I've always done. Pull the canvas back, put your cover reminder on it and hold it back. But if you want to, a lot of people like to section their canvases. So Diamond Art Club's given you the option of continuing to use the cover paper as you always have, or you have perforations where you can tear these squares. And I love it because it's not difficult to tear, but um, the paper is thicker. So you tear off a square, okay? Can I see it? It's uh -huh. very clear. So what I've done is since I have torn off this square, I've left a little section exposed and everything else is covered so I can work in this area to adhere my drills down. Now, if I want to recover it, I just put my square back down. Uh, and, and again, the nice thing about this paper, it, it, it is reversible. So no matter what side you put down on this exposed area, it's gonna peel back up just as easily. So that's very nice. Not all cover paper that's clear is like that. Believe me, I have found out the hard way. So thank you Diamond Art Club for letting us do that and uh, making it so easy for us. But I'm so taken with this image. All right, I will have Marlon uh, take a pan of it for you as well. I love this. I think this would look beautiful in our house. You've already panned? Okay, well, we'll pan again, but you know, just can't get enough. All right, let me turn this over. Let me turn this over. Marlon's obviously in a mood. Okay, so your drills uh, in every Diamond Art Club kit do uh, come in a nice labeled bag. That way, uh, it's got the title of the piece, Cottage in the Woods. That way, if you store your drills separately from your canvas, you can happily reunite them to diamond paint. All right, we got 55 colors. Two, no, three ABs and two fairy dust. So I've got my trusty scissors here so I can cut those special drills out so I'm not flailing around with trains when I go to show you where all these special drills go. All right, are we ready for the parade of drills? Here we go, 611, 3799. Whoa, okay, we got three bags of 3799, a dark gray. Good, okay. 310, just two bags of 310, nice. Uh, 505, a nice green. 3371, a brown. 520, are they close enough where they can see them? Okay, 520. I'm at a strange angle, I'm sorry, so you can see the canvas and the drills. 844, uh, two bags of it. 435, 702, that's a beautiful green. These colors are gonna be beautiful in this piece. 744, uh, 434, 898. 33, it's kind of wrinkly, 63, sorry, the light was hitting it. All right, here is your first fairy dust drill. I wanna, I wanna get them really up close, honey. These fairy dust drills are very shy. I'm wondering if there are more here that you can see, maybe towards the top. Fairy dust drills give a more subtle shine than AB drills, yes, than AB drills. Um, these have a fine mica powder encapsulated into the drill that, that are the same color as the drill. So they do, they do shimmer, uh, but they do give a little bit more subtle shine. And what happens is these give depth to the piece, which is very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this, being very careful not to cut into the bag. Don't worry, I won't cut into the bag. We've only got two more colors to show you. Actually, one more color to show you on this train to Georgia, and that is 501. It's a very dark teal. Okay. Put this over here so we don't have to worry with it anymore. And on we go. 413. Uh, 38, 23, two bags of it. 839, two bags of it. 372, 433. 610, two bags of it. 647, 371, two bags of it, 3863, 3864, very close, 498, 321, that's a beautiful red, almost close to 666, isn't it? Uh, 646, 158, a beautiful purple, oh my gosh, 645, I bet that those uh, reds are, uh, are going in those berries, 645 and 648. All right, looking for some more special drills. They gotta be coming up. We don't have too much left. All right, 
We have got 743. This is short train, 814, a cranberry, 436, and 402. Man, this is a pretty piece. All right, is this the last? Okay, this is the last train. Last train to Georgia, and it looks like a candy store, guys. The colors are beautiful. 799, 3801, 742, 3807. Look at these beautiful colors. 926, 3819, 3768. Here we go. Here's our next fairy dust. And it, ooh, I've never worked with this color before. This is a beautiful pink, a carnation pink. Isn't that gorgeous? And again, it's got that fine mica powder on those drills. I've never seen a fairy dust in that color, I don't think. Beautiful. 141, ding, 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 ring your first AB bell. I am so glad there's a fairy dust next to an AB. All right, Kara, what is an AB drill? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on the tops of these drills that capture facets of light and color from the environment and the drills around them and just make them all together now, shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer, just a little bit more. And you can see on that white that really you've got glints of color that's much more overt than these fairy dust. So um, you put these two together and they just add depth to the piece, but you get two different levels of shine. There's 666. Six, six. I knew we had to have some of that in that picture with that red bird or cardinal. 800. 3843, love that blue. 132, here is your next AB. Can they see that coating on it? It's beautiful. It's an, uh, kind of an orangey yellow. We got 3856. We got 740, 947. Lots of beautiful oranges. I'm sure those are going in those butterflies. 3860, 738, 128. Here is your last AB, and it is a beautiful baby pink. That is beautiful. And 3753. And you know what Kara has done? Kara has failed to cut out the special drills because I got so excited I was talking to you. All righty, so let me get these cut out really quick. Marlon, do you want to stop the camera for a second so I can get these cut out and get them organized so they don't have to sit and watch me scroll? All right, Kara's gotten her little act together, so Marlon has the camera back on. Okay, let's flip this over and I'm gonna show you where these beautiful drills go. I'm just so so surprised at how I love this piece, just the detail in these things. All right, your first uh, AB drill is gonna be 128. It is that beautiful baby pink. That is gonna be the color one. And I'm gonna stand up. I think I know where it goes. I think I've seen it over here. I just wanna make sure that I capture all of it. So I'm looking for this pink. Come around here. Yep, there's some beautiful bushes over here, and all the pink in these bushes is dotted with that uh, pink AB. That's going to be beautiful. Also, in these raspberries over here, the light pink dotting some of these, that's that pink AB. There's the pink in uh, this little bush here and up by the house. Uh, has got some pink ABs dotting it, so that is where this beautiful pink is going to go. Two is two. That's going to be this 132, this nice orange AB. I guessed it. It's in this butterfly's wings, dotting all over th these wings. There are also twos in the windows of the cottage. These front three windows and this upper window. I love attics that have these little windows up at the top. I just gives it a lot of character. But anyway, these windows have this particular AB in it that's going to, um, it's going to um, show that there's light coming out of that cottage. There's a little bit sprinkled over here in uh, this greenery, but that's where you're gonna get most of this orange. And your final AB is gonna be 141, and that is a white background with a black dot. That is going to be outlining the roof on one of the eaves of the roof and at the top of the roof and on this chimney. That's where you're gonna get this white AB. I'm looking, looking, okay. You've got also highlighting this blue jay. You've got it highlighting his head and on the side of his head. I'm looking in the butterflies, I don't see any. I do not see any in the cardinal. A little bit in this butterfly's wings, a little bit in this greenery. Um, I don't see any more of that. So that's where that AB is gonna go. Majority of it's gonna go on the roof of this cottage and the, and the chimney. 
Um, also, in this beautiful big blue butterfly up here, some are dotting uh, its wings. So yeah, that's where that's gonna go. Now we're moving on to our fairy dust drills, our first fairy dust Z704, which is this beautiful green. It is a percent sign. It's going, it's highlighting all of this greenery, all in here, 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 all in here, it's here. So all of this greenery down here is gonna be highlighted by this fairy dust drill. This is gonna be so pretty. And then Z893, that is a, I call it a bow tie symbol. It looks like a gentleman's bow tie. I see some in here in this greenery. The greenery up by the house is dotted with it. Up here in here, all in here. There's a lot of it in here, all the pink you see in here. Do I see any? Yes, there are some. Yes, they're, they're in these raspberries. So you've got A, Bs, and you've got your fairy dust, which is gonna add depth. So you, Diamond Art Club does this so beautifully and renders these things so well and um, picks colors that are going to complement each other so well. So you've got um, this pink that's going to be highlighting these raspberries. Because when you look at a raspberry, there's natural highlighting on it because some, uh, some of it, the raspberries are shiny. So yeah, all in these raspberries. I don't see any in the cardinal. I don't see any anywhere else. So in the greenery, up by the house, and highlighting the raspberries. So that's where your specialty drills are going to go. All right, coming back around behind Marlon. Sorry, I'm moving and grooving in this one because I wanted to make sure you saw all of it. I, I just cannot say enough. The rendering, the color scheme in this, and how these birds are so close up to give it perspective. I just love this piece, guys, and I hope you love it as much as I do. All right, that is what I have got for you. Oh, one other thing that I want to, uh, I told you I would do and I didn't do it, so let's do it now. Um, ratio of color blocking to confetti. There is confetti in this because there's a lot of detail going on in this, but there's also opportunities in some of this background, even in the butterfly. Um, to vertically and horizontally multiplace, there are areas where you can do that. Um, I call this kind of a confetti explosion, meaning if you expose one part of the canvas, yeah, there's a lot of different colors in each of your sections that you're going to be working on, but there's a lot of each color, if that makes sense. You're not going to be changing colors every five seconds, but you've got to have some confetti on a painting like this to basically project the detail out when you get finished with it. So uh, not bad, not bad at all. And there are plenty of opportunities for multi-placing and some color blocking as well. So um, this would suit anyone's needs as far as color blocking versus confetti. I love this. I am surprised. I, I really, really am. Um, just uh, the perspective in it and everything. And I just love these birds. Anyhow, that's what I've got for you. Sorry I've gone on and on. Will you pan over it one more time for them? They want to see it. They want to see it. I just opened this and was just so surprised. I just want to be on that little doorstep looking at all this going on outside. These birds are enjoying those raspberries and you got deer. I guess the deer don't want to scare the birds away. They haven't come over to eat the raspberries. Do deer eat raspberries? I think they do, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, I present to you Cottage in the Woods. These will be released tomorrow, Saturday, at nine o'clock Pacific, 11 o'clock Central, and 12 o'clock Eastern for Diamond and Ruby members. And then 30 minutes later, they will be released for general release, 9.30 Pacific, 11.30 Central, and 12.30 Eastern. Uh, Diamond Art Club does hold some stock back uh, so that everyone has a chance to grab these beauties. But if you are a nature, bird lover, butterfly, fly, I mean, this, this fits the bill for so many people. I'm thinking of several people right now that will probably go absolutely crazy over this image. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you. I uh, hope you love this as much as I did, and I'll leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, 
be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.